So you want to send WinLink emails over FM packet, but you've got an iOS device that still has the lightning connector. What do you do? DigiRig has this new experimental cable called the Vox cable that's going to allow us to send and receive our WinLink emails simply by using a dongle, the Vox cable, and whatever radio cable you have to send WinLink emails with our lightning connection. So let me show you how it works. And before we begin, I have to say a big thank you to Dennis at DigiRig for supplying me with all of these connectors and cables to make this video happen. Now, if you have an iOS device or an Android device that has USB-C, DigiRig makes this DigiRig Lite that simply has a USB-C plug on. Plug it into your uh, phone or tablet and you're on the air. But we're not focused on that. We're focused on the Vox cable. So the way this works, we're going to need a dongle. Now, this is the original Apple dongle that I got, I think, when I bought this iPhone 8 Plus. So this works, or I have this Belkin dongle that has a 3.5 millimeter as well as a lightning uh, charge port so you can charge your device and use the audio connections. I did buy a couple aftermarket dongles from two different brands. Neither of them worked, so I can only confirm that the genuine Apple and this Belkin will work so you might have to experiment on your own with that. But we're gonna take the uh, lightning dongle, plug it into our iPhone, and then we take the Vox cable, plug that into the dongle, and then we're gonna take our radio cable from DigiRig, this is the Yesu cable, and we're gonna plug that into the Vox cable. Then we simply take, in this case I'll use the FT5D first, and we plug it into the FT5D. But this should also work with, this is the Yaesu uh, VX7R cable. This should also work with the VX6. It has the threaded adapter. There's also a Baofeng cable. And there's also a cable for the iCom. And there's, there's an issue with this iCom cable that I'll get to in a minute. But for right now, let's just show you how this works. Now from the radio side, we wanna make sure that we open the squelch and on the Yesu, we just push this button on the side and turn the squelch all the way down. We have that green light there, the squelch is wide open. On the Foden side, I'm gonna be using the wonderful, fantastically designed radio mail app. And the first thing we wanna do is go to settings. Then we're gonna to go to packet kiss TNC modem. And under default TNC, mine is already set for packet modem, but let's go ahead and hit that. And where it says internal packet modem, make sure we have that selected. Then we're going to go down to audio input monitor. And we want to make sure we have the level set correctly. So you can see this is green right now. Is If I turn the volume down on the radio, you can see it says too quiet. So we're going to turn the volume up until we're in that green. If it's too loud, it turns red and says it's too loud. So let's set this somewhere in the green. Then we're going to hit the back button. And we're, then we're going to go to audio output diagnostic. Click that, and we're going to hit start. And this should key up the radio, and it is. PTT, we can see there's a red light there. Now, one thing you might want to do, because this is experimental, have another radio set to listen to the frequency that you're going to be transmitting on, just so you can make sure everything is right. Now, with Yesu radios, there's another thing we need to do. Yes, it PTT'd, but because we're using Vox and radio mail transmits um, you can see it says it transmits a 22 hertz, 2200 hertz tone on the left and a 12 kilohertz square wave on the right. One thing we want to make sure we do is we go into our settings in iOS and go down to your, where the apps are. We're going to select radio mail, scroll all the way to the bottom and see where it says internal packet modem PTT tone frequency. By default, that's set to one kilohertz. Make sure you change that to 12 kilohertz, okay? that's gonna make it a higher tone than what the repeater can hear or the RMS gateway that we're trying to get in can hear. So we won't have any problems. If it's set too low, it won't even open up the RMS gateway. So make sure that's done. So now let's hit start. And we're listening here. We can adjust the volume to make sure we get a good tone. Or if you adjust the volume too low, it stops PTTing. Adjust the volume high enough to where it PTTs the radio. All right. Now he says 75% is good enough. I've had plenty of luck with just at full blast, so you'll have to you'll have to experiment on your own. Again, this is kind of an experimental cable. 
So now we can hit done and that's gonna save the changes. Okay, and we can go to mailboxes and I'm going to compose a message. So I'm gonna long press at the bottom right that message thing. And I'm just gonna send a position report. So it has our GPS. This is being pulled from the phone. Even though this phone is completely off grid, there's no cell, there's no internet, there's no nothing. And I'm just gonna put a comment. I'm gonna put FT 5D and RM for radio mail. Then we'll hit the up arrow at the top right. And that created an email for our outbox. Then we can hit the bottom left envelope icon and I'm already connected to the W5HVL. So now we can just hit connect. You can hear the packets from my receiving radio. Now you can see we're connecting. Now it's sending our message. And we're receiving a message now. Wrapping up. And our position report has just successfully been sent. And as you can see here, looking at the Windlink position map, that position has successfully been sent. So now we can do the exact same thing with the VX7R, or if you have a VX6, you should be able to do the exact same thing. So again, go into the TNC modem, go to out, uh, audio input monitor. You can see we're good there. Go to audio output diagnostic, set start. There's our tone, so it's PTTing, we're good. So now we can go back to the mailboxes and I will send a position report and we'll say VX7R, radio mail, done. Go back here, connect. There we are, we're connecting to the RMS gateway. Sending our message. Now we're receiving a message. And done. And again, on the Winlink position report website, we can see that the VX7R uh, position report has also been received there. So now let's try the Baofeng. Everybody's got a Baofeng lying around, right? So we take the Baofeng connector, plug it in like such. Again, make sure your squelch is open. So I'm gonna turn my squelch to zero. And again, with the UV5R, we'll go to settings, packet kiss TNC modem, audio input monitor. Make sure our volume's good. That looks all right to me. Audio output diagnostic. I got the FT5D monitoring that. Make sure we PTT. There we are. Again, all of these are set with the uh, 12K tone, as you can see here. So we'll go back. We'll compose a new position report. We'll call this UV5R. RM for radio mail, just because. We'll go to the envelope at the bottom left. We'll hit connect. There we are, making some noises. We're connected. Sending our message. Now we're receiving. Wrapping up. And done. We have successfully sent a Winlink position report with a Baofeng. And again, we can see we have confirmation on the Winlink website that our position has been successfully sent as we see UV5R. Now, here's the deal with the ICOM. This is the ICOM cable and I have an ID50. And from what folks are saying, the ID50 and this cable don't really fit right. So what happens is everything is aligned properly. It seats in fully, but it doesn't actually work because the connections inside the ICOM ID50, I think are ever so slightly different than the ID52, I think. Don't, don't quote me on that. So I've talked to Dennis about this. He's looking into getting a cable for the ID50 made. Uh, so this will work. I have successfully made this work with the ICOM cable and the ID50 using the DigiRig Lite with uh, my Android tablet, but because we're using Vox, I haven't been able to get it to work 
with radio mail and the Vox cable. And even when I was using the DigiRig Lite and the Android tablet, you still can't seat this all the way in fully. You, you kind of have to like push it in and then pull it out a little bit. And I'll show you, like it PTTs, it does the thing, but notice when you push it in, it's, it's on uh, memory mode now, so you gotta go back to VFO. So let me just show you the issue and maybe somebody has a solution, but I sure don't. It PTTs, it works, everything, everything does what it is supposed to do, except there's like an audio, it, it doesn't transmit as loud. I've tried every tone in the settings and the app settings. So we've got, we've got audio coming in, we're good there. Let's go to our output diagnostic. It's PTTing the radio. But here, you can hear that, that subtle tone. So I can try and adjust the volume and you can hear the tone change a little bit, but notice how quiet it is. And even if I try it there, that's as strong as it gets. So there's some kind of issue. I, I think it's more just how the cable seats. It'll transmit, it'll PTT. Let's make sure we have that right. So I'm gonna leave it there. And it'll, it'll do the thing, like it wants to work. So let's do a position report. We'll put ID 50. And then we'll start transmitting. Like it's PTTing, but that's all we get. So something's up with that. Hopefully there's a fix in the, in the working, but that's my experience with the ID50. But either way, I got a bunch of other radios that I can use with this experimental Vox cable to send uh, Winlink emails and position reports and things like that. So this is freaking cool. If, if you've got an iOS device and you have like an ID50, can't confirm the ID50 though, so keep that in mind. But a lot of people have the FT5, a lot of people have, um, I, I see more VX6s in the wild than I do VX7Rs, but uh, the, the Yesus that I've tried work and the Baofeng. So I just wanted to bring this to you and show you that yes, iOS users that still haven't converted over to the uh, USB-C have a way to send WinLink with your phone using radio mail and the DigiRig Vox cable. So that's all we got today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike K at MRD. We'll see you next time, 73.